Could you tackle a Pro Bowl running back for $100,000? This is the Dirty Bird, Jamal Anderson. He arrived on Pros vs. Joes to answer our question. It's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be ugly. He also got big ass Bob Sapp blocking for him. Not that this man would elect for a block. Even when he has them beat, he just wants to cause pain. I think this man wants to get an NFL contract back or something. If an NFL scout ain't in the stands, then hopefully a neurologist is. If the punch wasn't bad enough, Jamal carries his insentient body over the goal line. When an unstoppable force meets a breakable body, you got a man turning into an equilateral triangle. If all that wasn't bad enough, Jamal has a game breaker stored up. And don't think submission equals mercy. Anderson brings another defender in for a TD and makes Ty Lue shudder and shows y'all why he's called the Dirty Bird. Hey guys, his eyes got so big. I mean, he couldn't, he couldn't even turn his neck for about five minutes. Heisman Trophy winner. Member of the 1992 USA bobsled team. Winner of Rachel Ray versus Guy Fieri's Celebrity Cook-Off. It's Herschel Walker. Wow. Wow. Now our second Joe comes out and he actually manages to grab a hold of Herschel Walker, but that just ain't enough. For our second attempt for our second Joe, he ends up getting wrapped up like a mummy. Damn, when I first saw this clip, I let out a whoo! I should remind y'all that your neck should not make this movement. My boy needs a standing A cap. After regaining the ability to walk, our Joe manages to go out and wrap up Herschel Walker. Now that's a stop. That was nice enough that even the pros got to give up props. Possibly the greatest running back in college history in the middle of his career is Ricky Williams. Wow. So who's playing football? You better pray it's not me. Yeah, I pray that, huh? <laughs> There's money on the line here. Ricky, you the man, but if it's me and you, it's on. I don't care how big you are. You're going to be little when I'm done. You got to catch me first, though. Robert calls Robert himself Mike, the real man. big daddy. I'm going to try to kill him. <laughs> if you don't really want these problems, was a face. Confidence is important, but lateral movement is just oh, as important. Robert Foster not looking like a real big daddy on that one. That close. That close to what? Second Ricky down. Williams makes it his personal mission to get as close as possible. To oh. Oh. This man is in medical disrepair and everyone is cracking the hell up. Ricky Williams got this grown ass man doing somersaults in the grass like he reverted him back to childhood. He don't want no more. All right, kid? No. Then Ricky Williams got the nerve to stand over his dilapidated body while he gets checked out by medical. I didn't get all the way from doing this. Put somebody on the ass. Yeah. One of the greatest running backs that football has ever seen. College Football Hall of Famer, Pro Football Hall of Famer, still holds the record for most rushing yards in a season, even though he retired 30 years ago. Throw your glasses in the air for Eric Dickerson. So you boys think you can play the National Football League, huh? We'll see. Okay, let me get this out the way. Eric Dickerson is definitely like 47 years old in this video, but no other Joe has even managed to sniff Eric Dickerson. You just might notice our Joe that's up to bat today. Come on, put your helmet on. Eric Dickerson takes it up the middle, and damn it if our Joe does not stuff him at the line. He's on the legs of Eric Dickerson. That's the best you can do. I've heard worse than that. Our Joe not only stops Eric Dickerson, this man cracks his ass like the 80s. I'm taking him. I'm taking him. Want some of this? All day long. Want some of this? All night long! That's our friend Cashew Lou, and he has a chance to back it up against the Nigerian Nightmare, a former pro bowler, Christian Okoye. It's a Nigerian Nightmare. The lead is the right side, Okoye. Let me cop some pleas on his behalf. This man has surgery on both of his knees, so. And there's the lead left. Okoye making a move. Oh, I talked to him. You better get him in the game. At here's the same the time, Okoye maybe Cashew Lou is just the greatest defensive player of all time. Oh. Cashew Lou causes a fumble. Oh. And he is going to overtime. Oh. Cashew Lou. A member of every all-time team there is. College and Pro Football Hall of Famer, the Hot Rod, Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson. And fresh off of making Christian Okoye look like he was retired for 15 years, we have our old friend, Cashew Lou. Cashew Lou is just thinking back what Barry did to his knee. We got jokes today, huh? 
memories. I didn't talk when I played. I'm quit talking now. Cashy Lou has been talking crazy since the first episode, but he backed it up last time, so let's see what he does against Rod Woods. Come on, Rod. This guy was talking about your knee, man. Cashy Lou gets the screen pass, and right when he reaches the line, Rod Woodson takes the knee jokes person. Rod Woodson hit him so hard that he turned into a b-boy. On the second down, Rod Woodson meets him even sooner and tries to remove his jersey over his helmet. It just goes to show that just because you're from Detroit, it don't make you Barry Sanders. This is Bill Romanowski. Offensive players beware. This is steroids. This is what steroids can do to your career. And Bill took that one personally. We're like a fist. We go in with every finger clenched. When Bill was on 60 Minutes talking about how he was purposely trying to end people's careers, I would certainly hope Romanowski did that. Someone's never been on Bill's Wikipedia, but he gets a chance to learn firsthand. Romanowski meets him, drives him into the turf. Our Joe makes the mistake of running directly at Bill and tries to flop to avoid getting hurt, but the worst thing you could do is deny Romo the chance to hurt you. Oh, and slamming him down again. The first person to actually understand the rules ends up juking Bill Romanowski out of jockstrap. Somebody call Balco, that man might be hurt. When the clear's in hand, the cream will rise to the top. Hailing from Balco, California, Wild Boy, Bill Romanowski. He's not as big as he was. Here's another good question. What's the front? I do about 45 minutes before the game, and I feel pretty heavy. 100 pound snatches. In this scenario, running directly into him is probably the worst thing you could do. So we have a Joe here who tries the old Scooby-Doo multiple doors trick, and Bill Romanowski is not a fan of Hanna-Barbera production. Whipping out a Sharpie, Romo is not happy. Call Romo taxes, cause they ain't no evading him. The next Joe uses a surprisingly underused tactic, which is just running away from him. Or just run directly at him. I don't know what I'm talking about. Whiffing. Touchdown! You don't realize you gave everything you had. And it didn't work. Standing at six foot one and 290 pounds, John Randall. Yeah. What the hell is yeah. that? Yeah. Oh John Randall is definitely known as one of the more eccentric players of all time. We're not gonna kiss, are we? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a lot more kissing, they boy. All right, John Randall wants to hit something. Spike TV insurance going up in three, two, go. one. John Randall got this man seeing so many stars that he could teach astronomy. I'm just gonna help you out real quick, okay? I'm your buddy. John Randall using him to mow the lawn like John Deere. I believe this is quite literally called Whiplash. It wouldn't be an episode of Pros vs. Joes if one of the Joes didn't forget what day it was. Dog, John Randall needs to join a Thai bow gym or something because he got too damn much aggression. No football skills. Put your helmet on. You want me, uh, I don't need no helmet. You want me to put my well, helmet on? Come over right now, then. Right now, I do what? Come on, just come on, tell us. Standing got six foot one and 240 pounds. Five-time pro bowler, two-time national champion, nearly 1,000 tackles, Jesse Armstead. Who's Jesse Armstead? Oh, my God. Oh, that's Jesse oh Armstead. Somebody go buy this guy a neck. Join your cheerleaders. Don't challenge me. Who'd you play for? You'll find out. I'll find out. Yeah, you'll find out. I don't think you want to find out. You can scratch him. Come on across right now. Right now? Yeah. I don't need a f Come on over now. What do you want to do? I dare you to come over right now. Jesse right. really doesn't want much from him besides to get yoked the hell up. Never try to roast somebody for having no neck because you cannot knock out somebody with no neck. Like, why would you go and start a fight with the dude who runs into people for a living? Jesse got this man praying towards Mecca. He ain't even Muslim. How do you end up with your jersey stretched out like that? We haven't even played football yet. Don't upset Jesse. This man got washed like a Looney Tune well, character. Are you ready for the next pro? You guys will be taking on Jesse Armstead. You know you messed up when all you could do is stare into the camera like you on the off. They gotta know that we're not scared. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna show him the difference between a Joe and a grown ass man. All the Joes need to do is get past the goal line without getting flatlined. Easier said than done. Our second Joe comes up with a full head of steam, but Jesse just bounces Ooh, him back like ballistic gel. The Girk is back up, and Jesse Armstead keeps his arm steady as he stops the forward momentum for a down. And he resets his spine for free. Our second Joe is back up, and damn it if their approach ain't slowing up. Each time. Oh, oh, on his neck. The Gurk attempts to run into a brick wall without a seatbelt, and Jesse Armstead tries to remove his shoulder pad. Oh, did he get hit? 
stars on that one? No, nah, not yet. You didn't see stars? Yeah, later. <laughs> With one more attempt from our second Joe, nobody at all has scored on Jesse Armstead. At this point, they just have a battle to see who loses the least. This will be the only day where a three yard loss is a victory. One of the most feared linebackers we've seen. The mean machine, Kevin Green. Let's get it on. Our Joes are in the back trying to hype themselves up for this concussion they're about to receive. Before we get going, let's make sure we drop a RIP to Kevin Green. Easy, big fella. Quit the game. Get into broadcasting. No one's going to hit you there. That advice comes a little bit too late as Kevin Green literally wipes the floor with our Joe. They're pulling turf out of Phil's helmet. Our Joe is going to need to step it up because he tries to swim move and he ends up just getting drowned. Are you guys going to tiptoe? Run. Run. With only one more chance of seeing the green, let's hope we're talking about cash instead of grass, but Kevin Green shouts out the network and spikes him on his ass. The mean machine grinds to Joe in his gears, and in his nightmares, he's going to be seeing Kevin Green for years. Are you going to be as excited when they come out of there? At six foot five, 265 pounds, Pro Bowl defensive end, Simeon Rice is here to challenge the cocky Joes. <laughs> Trash talking big ass lineman makes for great TV, but we'll have to see how it translates on the football field. I can give them a nice little sampler of what it tastes like to feel the best for the very first time. I'm going straight at you. We get seeing you, little bitch. Come on, let's go, baby. You guys get yourself up. Affy starts by going head up with Simeon and body slams him. Simeon has no problems with the WWE moves as he pile drives Nappy into the dirt. Everyone's just waiting to see if his neck is broken. Yep. First of all, you did try and run over him, but you also got body slammed. It's all good. I'm gonna try my best. Let's go. Let's see some heat. Okay. Now that's how you speed run getting put onto the concussion protocol. Now, if you missed the last Simeon Rice video, he just paid tribute to Jerry the King Lawler with a textbook pile driver. Our Joe actually decides to no sell the concussion and jumps up in jubilation ready for something. Mike, I think that's a concussion scream. <laughs> I suggest we change the name to Insane Pro versus Insane Joe. One well placed blunt force trauma impact turned Naffy into Nick Chubb. Right, two more. Two more, Naffy, two more. Tragically, the shutter step gets shuttered the hell down. Oh, Simeon takes him down. There you go. We this is Naffy's last attempt, so he goes back to the spin move, but Simeon rolls his ass up. My man wanted to go at me. So the boy's neck was broke. Because he didn't move for a second. You get dropped on your head, usually you shut up. <laughs> the greatest player in Madden history. The first thousand yard rushing quarterback in his first games is getting out. Your eyes do not deceive you. Michael Vick. Michael Vick. Before Mike Vick made his way back to the NFL, he made his way to Pros vs. Joes to test his mic. The rules are simple, stop Mike Vick. Mike Vick starts off with absolutely no help from the line and he gets stopped immediately. They got the lineman looking like Charlie Brown trying to kick a field goal. Jello got that jiggle, baby. On attempt number two, Mike Vick fumbles and the lineman gets beat by a dude 100 pounds lighter, so that's a wash. Finally, on attempt number three, Mike Vick remembers he's a four-time Pro Bowler and gives everyone a demo of Madden 04. Finally! Lucky he held the hell out of me. Shut it out. Just wait for the jet move. Boop, boop, boop. That's what I do I to him, man. The Jaguars all-time leader in receiving yards. Two Super Bowl rings and five Pro Bowls. Some know him as Jay Smooth, but his mama named him Jimmy Smith. I know y'all hate to see me, baby. It's like a retiree to me. Retired just in time for you, baby. Hey, 18 months ago, he was on the show. So tired. What special ability do I have? That's confidence, my friend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's pacing back and forth. You already got him, Jimmy. Our Joe clacks his knees together, then just gets absolutely burnt by Jimmy Smith. I think we see why they call him Jay Smooth. Then Jimmy Smith decides to hit him with a post route that leaves him with PTSD. Am I the best route running in the NFL? Shaking in his boots. If those last routes weren't bad enough, Jimmy Smith damn near breaks his own ankles on this stop and go, and then proceeds to stand there like he's picking out his touchdown celebration. DD, baby. DD. Just so nice. In fact, that should be two touchdowns. CFL MVP and champion, college football Hall of Famer, Rocket. Ishmael. $100,000 on the line. I'm a little mad. Take it easy on me. Punch Not out. only do they have to catch the rocket, they also have to run 50 yards before they even try. That definitely doesn't help them stay out of the fence cycle. Even off of this funky ass bounce, you can just see how fast the rocket is off a jog. This just might be one of the nastiest moves in Pros vs. Joe's history. Oh, rocket. Oh, look at the ball. 
Now the Rocket is gonna force the camera crew to switch angles just to get a shot of the defender. Man, the Rocket is out here spinning more than Dada's in 05. Arjo makes the best defensive stand of the night by attempting to rip the Rocket's neck off with his face mask. As they say, if you're not cheating, you're not trying, because as you can see, the Rocket is out of fuel. Rocket back it up. Oh, no! We are out here too long. All of a sudden, it was a shutdown on the right gluteus maximus. <laughs> hey, all of that! <laughs> Y'all got too much stuff on. Hey. Y'all got too much stuff on. That's what chumps wear. The reason a lot of your uncles are Cowboys fans now, Michael Irvin. This is Michael Irvin, eight years after retirement. He's out here creating more separation than a marriage life. And that is a touchdown. Like your little league out here. I'm 40 years old. Michael Irvin just starts doing stuff that I used to do on NCAA 06 on the PS2. After getting flambéed like a banana foster, our Joe decides to hit Michael Irvin late. So Michael Irvin grabs him by the jail wallet? I didn't really want to go in the end zone. I spent too much time in there already. I just put the ball in like this. I spent half of my life in the end zone. After shattering the shimmy out of the Joe's ankles, Michael Irvin gets tragically overthrown. Honestly, Michael Irvin is just trying out routes like he just want to see if he's Still got it. Argue in the comments. Do y'all think this is a catch? Y'all know how Cowboys wide receivers be about catching. If you see the playmaker running full speed at you, are you still backpedaling? Just know he already scored. Can you D up Jerry Rice? Oh, yes. All right. Put your helmet on. Some may have forgotten, but history will always remember the GOAT, Jerry Rice. I guarantee you, you're not going to cover me. Jerry Rice needs no introduction. I'll let the slant route do the talk. One second he's there, the next second he's in the Hall of Fame. If you've seen Jerry Rice play, you should be familiar with the fade route. Jerry Rice juked this man so hard, the camera couldn't even capture it. Unbelievable. You got burned! It might just be harder for Jerry Rice to make this look difficult. It was a picture for Like a number three at the barbershop, Jerry Rice is getting faded. Look at the acceleration right here. Even with a severely underthrown pass, they don't have a hot links chance at a cookout. Jerry has their ankles shifted like the San Andreas fault, but it's nobody's fault but their own. With a supremely underthrown pass, our Joe gets the only stop of the day. 